So we've talked about adding two vectors and, even in, and how we would subtract them as well. In this video, I want to talk about how to compute the dot product uh, between two vectors. And after we learn how to do the dot product, I think it's going to be a good idea for us to go through how to multiply two matrices. And we're going to talk about what a matrix is as well. So let's first start off with the dot product. Let's dot, dot. I can write that a little bit better. Dot product. Okay, and so let's start off with our vectors u. And let's do v, and let's make v this time be like negative 2 and 3. And so if I can write the dot product like this, I can say the dot product between u and v with this little dot. Um, it's going to be equal to um, it's going to be equal to u transposed times v. Now u transposed, if I was to transpose a vector, if my vector had dimensions two, one in this case, after I transposed it, it would have dimensions one, two. And so u transpose is going to look like this. It's going to be two, one, one row, two columns times negative two, three. And what you do when you do the dot product is you take this component times this component. And so the first component of the first vector times the top component of the second vector. And that's going to be negative 4. You take this component times this component, uh, last component of the first vector times the uh, you know, bottom component of the second vector. In our case, if this is three dimensions, you would just make sure that they match up accordingly and this can be 1 times 3, and you add them together. And so negative 4 plus 3 in this case is going to be negative 1. And this is the dot product between these two vectors. And so um, if we, now since we know about the dot product, let's talk about matrix multiplication and what a matrix is. So we've talked about vectors, right? But let's imagine that, uh, let's, let's talk about a matrix. A matrix, let's imagine that we took these vectors and we made them, put them into a matrix where each column of this matrix was one of these vectors. So you can see right here we have U, right here we have V. And a matrix is just a little bit different than a vector. When we refer to something as a matrix, we're commonly referring to something that has um, you know, more than one row and more than one column. It's commonly how you'll see it referred to. And so this is a matrix. And if I wanted to multiply this matrix with another matrix, let's say B, and let's say B is like um, 0, 2, 3, negative 1. The matrix multiplication between A and B would, would kind of would go like this. So if I had A, I'm going to bring A down. And I'll bring B here, 0, 3, 2, negative 1. Since you're kind of, you know, uh, you know, we're you're kind of you're kind of aware now of how this relationship of you know a vector being transposed and then multiplied, you know, by each respective components uh, there, this is how matrix multiplication is actually gonna work. If I have a two by two matrix and a two by two matrix, this, um, the output matrix that we get is going to have the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns that it'll have would be the number of columns of the second matrix. And so, for example, if A was actually 2 by 3 and B was actually a 3 uh, by 4, then the output matrix would be a 2 by 4. And you'll see that, you'll see it kind of soon if, as you work through these examples, you'll see how that sort of comes to be. But first and foremost, this first cell up here, this is going to be a two by two matrix. And this first cell up here is going to be uh, this vector dotted with this vector. So dot product between these two vectors. And that's going to be uh, two times zero, which is zero, plus um, negative two times two, which is negative four. I'll keep the plus sign. Then we're going to do this vector dotted with this vector, and then that's going to go here. And that's going to be 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be 2. And then we're going to have this vector times this vector, and that's going to be 1 times 0 is 0. 
three times two is six. And then we have one times three over here, plus uh, or minus three, we'll keep the minus this time. Because three times negative one is negative three. And then we just sort of, you know, do our adding. We have negative four up top right there in the top left. We have eight right here, six right here, and zero right here. And this is the matrix multiplication between A and B. It has dimensions two by two. And so that's the key things to remember. Um, you know, the multiplication of two matrices A and B, the resulting matrix, you can call it C, is going to have the same number of rows as A and the same number of columns as B. One key fact, must have for matrix multiplication. If A was a two by three, and then B was a four by two, this would not work. Um, the inner dimensions here, they must be the same. And you think about it, right? Um, if, if A was a two by three, uh, that means you would be taking a, a three dimensional row vector right here, and then taking the dot product of that with a four dimensional uh, column vector. And that wouldn't match up because you have to do component by component multiplication like we did over here, you know, two times this, one times this, and there's a mismatch between the number of components, so that cannot work. And so that's another, that's a very important property of matrix multiplication. Uh, always make sure that your dimensions match up. And so that's the dot product, and that is how to multiply two matrices.